The song is so boring, I'm gonna look straight into the camera while playing it. Okay? What's up everyone? Sunday with Ola 55 in the house y'all, how are you guys doing? Holy shit! Uh, it's recording... Is it like really really loud on the microphone? <laughs> okay, I'm lowering the microphone audio... <laughs> I think we're good. What's up everyone? So nice to see you guys again, holy shit! You know... Unofficially, officially, my summer has started. Well, my kid's summer has started. So, uh, if you're wondering why I'm wearing f***ing these shorts and legs, I know they're white. You just have to deal with that, okay? But, uh, I mean, it's full-on summer. You, you might even be wondering, like, what? Oh, hola, you're so f***ing cool with your fan blowing the hair and all that. What people don't realize is that every summer I'm using a f***ing fan. Did it never really cross your mind that it might be hot in here? During summers? What? Okay, it's also making me look a little bit better. Uh, I need all the help I can get. Where is a guitar pick? Here we go. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving for some news. Well, first of all, do you rem guys remember when I was talking about Machine Head and they were using blast beats? And there was a behind the scenes where they were using blast beats? Well, that EP is now out. It's called Arrows and Swords. It's not swords, it's words. Arrows and Words from the Sky. Okay, great. I think the name is just way too intelligent for me. All right, let's listen. Becoming... Become the Firestorm. Okay. There it is. Okay, here it sounds like a more classic uh, machine hit, must say. Very classic machine hit right there. Who is that? Is that Rob Flynn? That can't be Rob Flynn. I don't know who it was. I don't think it was Rob singing that little beautiful thing right there. But yeah, man. It's kind of catchy, I must say. Uh, uh. Oh. Yes. Oh. Ah, that was cool. I like this. Ah, this is what Machina is all about, man. This. Like the, the breakdown things. Sounds like, it's, you know, the guitar tone, very, you know, the 5150 classic that he's probably using. But, you know, reminds me a lot of, you know, the more things change type of production, uh, which I thoroughly like. That album is amazing. And, uh, I like it. I like the sound, man. Oh, shit. Okay, I need to, I need to check out all of these songs, but that was really great. Now, if this video gets demonetized, maybe you can consider getting some merch from me instead. How about that? Okay. Reality time with Ola right here. I hope that YouTube is working with this. They need to have a section by section demonetization happening instead. Because now, if I play something that you know some label is going to claim, it claims the whole video. You know what we need? Something that claims just that part. 
and then the rest of the video. Some sort of like a percentage style demonetization. So, you know, the small percentage of me showing something or someone's music, that portion of the whole monetization should go to the artist. And if people are watching that section only, it should go to the, you know, the artist. Doesn't that make more sense? And the rest of the video goes to me? You know, the creator that actually pushes the music because I think it's cool. Just a happy side note, just saying. <laughs> uh, no, that was actually sick. I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, okay. All right, another piece of news. Corey Taylor, you know, Corey Taylor, he has a lot of opinions and people like to post about Corey Taylor's opinion. Corey Taylor Slipknot? Yes, exactly, that's the guy. Corey Taylor, I really wish that people would think before they tweet or post on social media. Uh, no, how about no? <laughs> what? What? That's the beauty of social media, is that it's just a fucking mess. Where would all the fun be without people not thinking once or twice about posting online? <laughs> Obviously, Corey has a very, very valid point that uh, there's a lot of shit out there that uh, might not be uh, thought through, just saying. And uh, it's nice to see Corey is uh, thinking about this. Guitar World! Oh, solo guitar launches a new Tele Spider Race. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, with the Evertune equipped T. Oh, shit, man. Well, you guys knew about this, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, uh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just a little proud, okay, that uh, Guitar World is uh, picking up my small little viral uh, release. Obviously, I started releasing pictures of our new Type T series on uh, Instagram and Facebook. And it's just nice to see the response from everyone. People have been really overwhelmed and really excited about the new Type T series, uh, you know, like this one. And uh, it, 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 just made, it just makes me... Can, can I just say that I'm proud, you know? And that, uh, you know, I didn't send out a press release or something like that just yet. You know, Guitar World... Uh, guitar World... Uh, guitar World is considering, you know, me releasing a, a picture of uh, the Type T, something that would be... Uh, that they would call news. And that is... and that has me proud. I, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I did not... I did prepare for this so I could show you because I'm so proud. That's what I just said. Okay, this is interesting. Apple Music Boss admits he can't hear any difference between compressed and lossless audio. Our ears aren't that good. Now, this is a very, very hot topic, okay? Uh, why is it a hot topic? Because there's some services out there that claim uh, that are offering lossless uh, streaming of music. Uh, was it Tidal? Tidal? Is that the 50 Cent guy? Uh, and now Apple Music also announced that they're doing more of a lossless streaming uh, thing. And I personally see people asking for this uh, when I release albums too. Like, is this going to be on Tidal or in better lossless uh, format like FLAC, stuff like that? And uh, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to be completely honest. When I listen to Spotify, that I can't hear the difference myself. I have to agree with this guy, the Apple Music guy. And now people are going to be like, oh, hold on. How can you consider yourself being a metal guy? I was about to say metal god, but no, I can't self-proclaim myself being a god. Let's say, hola, you call yourself a metal goddess. <laughs> I'm making fun of myself. Uh, how can you not hear the difference? Well, the thing is that if I sit with them side by side, I might be able to pick out the difference. But does it matter? No. I mean, it's not that bad how it is right now on Spotify or Apple Music with the regular format that they're using. It's perfectly enjoyable in that sense. My, my guess is that if you have like a really high fidelity stereo at home, which I think that basically less than half a percent of, of the, the people in the world are sitting on a high fidelity system at home because everyone's listening through fucking AirPods and car speakers and whatever nowadays. I don't think that many are still listening through stereos. I know there's stereo guys out there. Okay, calm down. Shit. I'm just saying, you know, the reality is that most people out there, they're listening through computer speakers or their iPhones and their uh, earbuds or whatever. I mean, I don't think people will be able to hear the difference between lossless and, uh, and regular format. So I... I think it's really interesting. It's an interesting piece of news. And, uh... Oh, f*** my face. Siri, f*** 
you. Det där tänker jag inte svara på. I thought this was interesting coming from uh, the boss of Apple Music, actually. It, it, it's... it's uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Or something. Okay, we have to talk about this, I guess. Did you see this? Uh, Kirk Hammond posted on Instagram these new WMDs from ESP Custom Shop. Hello, look at this. For what it seems, uh, two new US Custom Shop guitars that Kirk Hammond is going to use on the road. Uh, made by master builder Vasquez Custom uh, of ESP USA. And uh, I found his Instagram page and it's pretty, pretty interesting, I must say. He's posting, you know, progress of stuff. I just like seeing progress pictures of cool, cool custom shop guitars. And uh, I mean, with Kirk Hammett posting this picture right here, obviously rumors are gonna come out that maybe they're planning on doing this for, uh, you know, next century line. Just have to wait and see. I like the look of these. They look a little retro, I must say. Like, it remind, it, you know, it reminds me of these old like 60s caravans with the color, like this gold and, and uh, kind of like an off-white color right there. It might also be the lighting of the picture, but uh, I, I like this. I like these guitars. Look at those uh, wavy little. Uh, look at those inlays, man. Look, it's like a wave. They took the the, the shark fin and you know. So that's pretty cool. I don't know about you guys, but that was actually the news. Okay, my little friends. Sunday with Ola Riff Challenge. You know, I challenge myself every other week now because, you know, before it was every every week, but now I'm doing Sunday with Ola during the summer every other week. So I challenge myself every other week to write something new and uh, or just force myself to write something and it's it's really been been good for me because I've been become way more productive and you know some of these uh, Sunny with all the riff challenges that I made have actually become songs and at the end of the day that's what it's all about not all of it because you know a lot of shit that I write sucks uh, but you know some glimpses here and there might show up on albums so while I'm doing this for Sunday with Ola you know I kind of it helps me with my songwriting. And with that, when I write something new, I also make drums and make them available for you guys to join in on the riff challenge. And you can make your own riffs to those drums. And that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna check out the contributions from last Sunday with Ola, okay? I'm gonna check the subreddit and then we're just gonna have a lot, a lot of fun. Jonas Jones 92. Okay, look at that guitar, man. That was good from the beginning. It's a little uh, Arabic almost. So he's playing an orange guitar with uh, fan frets and this uh, rusty cool finish right there. And dude, this is so weird, man. I dig it, but it was not what I expected. Holy shit. It's like, what is it? Like jazz, gypsy, Arabic, something? That was, that was really cool. That was Jonas Jones 92. Well done. All right, let's do Cruise 7S. What's up? Uh. Is that a nine string? That is a fucking nine string right there, guys. Just saying. I mean, his hands are so big, it looks like a toy in his hands. Just saying. So I guess this guy has like massive hands or something. Or, or it, maybe it's a smaller guitar. I, I don't know, I never play one of these. But that is a nine string. I can count it. I can count to nine, you know. Oh, whammy. Meow. Meow. Ah, that's heavy. Bubba. Yeah, baby. There it is. The horns. Well done, man. All right, next up we have Where Are My Whales? <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's find them together. Okay. He has an ESP. Smart. SMRT. Oh, dude, my favorite Swedish YouTuber. I hope this is me. Ah, oh, it's PewDiePie. You can ask him. He got me! <laughs> oh, dude. He got me. He got me good. All right. Very like the chord is breaking up a little bit there. That's cool. Solo time.
Awesome. That was Where Are My Whales? Uh, his favorite uh, Swedish YouTuber is PewDiePie. Interesting. All right, last but not least, we have the Lord of Swag. Let's do it. Nice. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Shit. Was not ready. My first time posting a riff challenge for Sunday with all the riff challenges. Hope you all enjoy. Dude! That's a hell of a good try, I must say. Good of a first try. Shit. Yeah. Well done. That was the Lord of Swag. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. So there you go. Those are the contributions from last two weeks. Sunday with all the riff challenge. If you want to be this cool, download the drums in the description. Get in on it, okay? Upload it to YouTube, upload it on the Sunday with Ola Swole Rich Challenge subreddit. Link in the description of this video, and I might find you. How about that? Thank you for. Uh, thank so, ultra exciting times. Why is it exciting? Well, because today the vinyls finally arrived. To the office. I wasn't here when they arrived, but my uh, brother Frederick took care of it all. It was three pallets worth of vinyls, and uh, I just heard here to be able to check him out because uh, obviously I'm very excited about this. The vinyls have been delayed. There has been a huge shortage in vinyl because uh, during the pandemic, a lot of people have ordered, uh, you know, vinyl sex dolls. So uh, yeah. There's just been a shortage of vinyls, and uh, it's not only our vinyls that have been affected by this, bigger bands also. But look at this. Wow. Hello, vinyls. How are you? <laughs> Shit, man. Ooh. I'm extremely excited about this. Holy. F this one is sort of open. Should I open it? Let's do this together, man. So, with the vinyl arriving, that means that we can finally start shipping out the Ultimate Editions and the people that, that bought vinyls in the first place. <gasps> Unboxing it right now. I'm not watching. I'm not watching. Let me take it to the table real quick. I'm not watching. I'm sort of watching. There it is. Holy shit. That looks so good. Look at that. So it's a gatefold vinyl. <gasps> Look at this. Ooh, black cover. <gasps> okay, you guys are ready. Ooh, look at that. That's my music on that vinyl right there. Holy shit. Side B. Would you take a look at that? That looks so great, man. You know, I wasn't really a vinyl fan up until a couple of years back. But as soon as I started printing my own stuff on vinyl, I mean, just having the artwork in this size. Holy shit, man. So I'm gonna start by signing all these vinyls for uh, all the Ultimate Editions, all the, the vinyl orders. And then on Monday, tomorrow, because you're watching this on Sunday with Ola, uh, tomorrow we're gonna have basically a full factory of people here uh, packing everything. I'm gonna show you what's in the Ultimate Edition in a bit. I'm gonna sign this one. Look at that. That's a signed album right there. So right here, I put up everything that comes with the ultimate edition of my Star Singer album. Obviously, a signed CD, uh, Digipack right there, uh, tab book, the vinyl, obviously signed, as you saw. You also get this sticker, big ass sticker you could put on your car or whatever. You get my face, all signed and pretty. You get these Dunlop guitar picks in a pick then, like that looks like this. Is that cool? Look at that. And then, last but not least, you get a keychain or a pendant, like this. So this is what you get when you get the Ultimate Edition of my album. How about that? So we're gonna pack everything on Monday, but I have to start with signing all the vinyls before we can pack everything. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Good times. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this, so it, it, it's exciting. 
it's really exciting for me. I'm really happy to finally be able to ship all of this out. All right, I signed a couple and uh, I will continue on with this. To all of you out there who uh, bought an Ultimate Edition or an LP or vinyl, I just want to thank you so much for the patience. Uh, we're finally getting them shipped out tomorrow. You will probably receive an email when that has been done. Uh, so stay tuned for that, but also have an understanding that, you know, we're, we're working our asses off. Uh, so uh, if you don't get an email immediately, just uh, chill out a little bit. But thank you so much, guys. Uh, I'm gonna continue doing this right here, right now. Bye. So in the last Sunday with Ola, you guys got to vote for a guitar for me to buy and demo on my channel. It was the Epiphone, Brendan Small, it was the Nick Johnston Schechter and the Devin Townsend Framus Storebender. And I have to say, this was a really close call this time. It's never been this close before. The winner is the famous Devin Townsend Stormbender with 45% versus Brendan Small Explorer at 40%. I mean, it's quickly counting this. This doesn't make any sense. 40 plus 45, that's 85 plus 16. That equals 101%. Anyways, let's just open up the box. I also bought some other things I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so let's check it out, man. Let's check it out. Oh, what's this? Ooh, something for Will Chug. The Earthquaker Devices Data Corruptor. What? That's gonna be cool to check out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I bought an Ocarina. How about that? <gasps> Look at. <gasps> wow. Look at that. Where the f do I blow? Oh. It's in C, okay? Great! That was fun. What else did I get? Oh yeah, shit, what the hell is this? Nasenflöte. Isn't this exciting? So, I got a nose flute too. And I'm gonna see if I can learn how to, uh, how to play nose flute in a second, okay? I'm going to tell you something about the nose flute. The nose flute is a small instrument on which you can play everything. But you have them in all kinds of models. Who's he talking to? We have them at small, small size. I don't understand. We have them as a size. <laughs> what the fuck? What's happening? Well, it's a plastic one. And now, you blow by your nose. You put your head a little bit like this. <laughs> okay. Like, is my mouth too big or? Wow, piece of shit. <laughs> Holy f Okay, that sucked ass. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that face. Yes. Nose flute, everyone. Great. Okay, let's go back to the guitar. We were talking about guitar, but yeah, that's not what happened right now. 
All right. We're gonna unbox the Stormbender right here. How about that? I'm looking forward to it. Careful. Okay. Uh, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's not a Stormbender. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. I made a mistake. Was I drunk when I ordered this? Maybe I should play with the nose flute and the Don Electro guitar right here, okay. No, I'm gonna use this and I will chug, that's why I have it. That, um, I just, I just uh, remember why. Okay, 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 but we're here, all of us are here for the Stormbender, so we're gonna check it out right now. And uh, I was lucky that it was the Stormbender and not the Brendan Small guitar. The Stormbender went out of stock and won't deliver in, you know, four weeks or something like that. So, I was incredibly lucky that the Framus won. <laughs> but uh, I have to try out that Brendan Small sometime, that's gonna be great. Okay, it comes in a gig bag, that's cool. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, but Framus makes the rock bag as well, so uh, that's very convenient. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. The Stormbender, you know Devin Townsend? Oh, it has an outer condom and an inner condom. Well, that's so convenient. Ooh, here it is. Obviously, I've seen the real Stormbender up front and close at NAMM, but this is, you know, the less expensive model right here. Look at that. That's the Stormbender right there for you. I doubt that these are pickups of any... Uh, they're not Fishman's, they're probably some, some import line stuff. Made in China, okay. Designed in Germany, made in China. Oh shit, okay. Yeah man, that looks pretty exciting, I must say. That's the Devin Thompson Stormbender for you. Sh shall I plug it in? I should plug it in. But then I also have to... Oh, this is, this is a problem. I'm gonna do this. <sighs> Oh, so, so, so good. Ay. 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 Calm down. Okay, 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 okay. Plugging in. Exciting. Obviously, I'm gonna demo this in a video, in a proper video, okay? But right here is the first tone on the frame of Stormbender. <laughs> There it is. You have to wait for the demo, okay? I'm looking forward of trying out this guitar for real. Uh, I'm gonna make a demo and then I'm gonna give it away to one of my beautiful members. How about that? F***ing hell, adventures with Ola in the house. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try it. Okay, let me play it together with the song. You've learned a Pona song, thank you. Okay guys, that was it for Sunday with Ola 55. I hope you enjoyed this. Next week it's gonna be a metal morning number four with me and Luis. And we're gonna talk about Gent. How about that? Exciting times! If you like this video, maybe consider putting a thumbs up. It's right next to the dislike button. And <laughs> hope you have a great ass Sunday, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Please leave him alone! Leave Britney alone!